I used to just have a drum pad with me and a keyboard and I would play them either at the same time or in sequence of each other and loop things up on the keyboard if I needed to and then I had a guitar with me that I would use every now and then. After a couple of years I found myself getting pretty tired and, and I wanted to change it up and I felt like the audiences were getting bigger and the audiences needed a kind of bigger show from me. The next logical step was to just ask myself to do more things rather than asking other people to come and do things with me. So now I'm up on stage with a big drum kit, still got my drum pad, still got my keyboard, I've got another little keyboard as well, and again, just looping things if and when I need to, and uh, playing things at the same time when it makes sense to. My favourite live shows that I've ever seen have been from people who have played with bands that have such great musicianship that even though the music itself isn't necessarily improvisational, the atmosphere of it is. And that's kind of what the setup has been built to enable me to do. Kind of deviate and have fun and be able to play my songs in any way that the crowd and me want to play them. Any band will tell you that the really, really difficult thing in the first couple of years of gigging is being able to have that kind of composure on stage as, as a team, as, as, a, as a group of people who are there locked into the same kind of place, all in the same pocket, feeling and, and vibing with the music in the same kind of way. That's a difficult thing to achieve. I've been in a band with myself for years. The song itself, in the way that it sounds now, took a long time to develop through the help of a producer called Mike Spencer. It's an old song of mine. It doesn't sound like a lot of the other things I've made and it doesn't sound like a lot of the other songs on phase, but it still sounds like me and um, he really understood that. He understood how important it was for not just my voice to be the only thing that made the song me, but instead the character of the production and the, the way that everything fitted together. So that's kind of what makes a song sound like, a, I guess, a Jack Garrett song.